Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to transfer music from Pandora Downloader to your iTunes library. If you don't know what Pandora Downloader is, I suggest you go watch my last video titled Pandora Downloader 2013. When I say your iTunes library, I'm talking about this, not your music library, which is this. Alright, first thing you have to do is make sure you have a song downloaded in Pandora Downloader that you want to transfer to iTunes. Right now I have Thirst Shop by Macklemore that I'm going to transfer to my iTunes library. Alright, next step is you have to have iFile downloaded from Cydia and you're going to go to Media, scroll down to Pandora, Edit, check it, and what you're going to do is email it to yourself. So if you have an email, just email it to yourself. And I'm just going to do that and just say YouTube. Oops. And I'm going to press Send. For the next step, you need to open up one of your web browsers. Alright, now that you open up one of your web browsers, you're going to go to your email and open up that song you just emailed to yourself, and you're going to save it. And once you download it, it won't take that long. Take like five seconds. When you try to open that, uh, Windows won't be able to play it, or the Mac. So what you will need to do is download an audio converter, which we'll do right now. Okay, you're going to go to um, DVDVideoSoft.com to download this audio converter. Once it's loaded, you're going to scroll down and look for a software called Free Audio Converter, and you're going to download it. And this is just a preview of what it looks like. Once you download it, it will be saved on your desktop, so you're just going to open it up. Um, then you're going to add a file, the song you just emailed to yourself, and open it up. And make sure it's MP3 that you're converting it to, then you're going to convert. It doesn't take that long to convert. It depends on how long the song is, actually. Once it's done downloaded, just exit out the program. Once it's done downloaded, you're going to go to iTunes and add that file to your iTunes library. You're going to take it from wherever you saved that file from. And here it is right here in my iTunes library. Um, The album artwork didn't show up because you have to do the whole process in one day or else it won't show up. I guess the album artwork get lost. I downloaded that song yesterday and I just did the conversion and all that stuff today. But if you don't mind that album artwork not showing up, then that's fine. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more. Comment suggestions for tutorials on the next video. If you have any questions or get confused about this whole process, please leave your questions down below in the comment section. I will reply.